So this week I want to talk a little bit about an update to Project Thailand and hardware 4.0 as we are starting to get some pictures, some exciting updates closing in on Investor Day. As you may know, Investor Day is on March 1st and we're hopefully going to hear quite a bit directly from Tesla. Elon Musk hopefully will give us some clarity on some of these things that we're starting to see out in public. Thanks mostly to my friend Ryan at the Kilowatts and Green the Only on Twitter. There is a ton of information to unpack here and this week was full of updates. So with that, let's dive in. As you may or may not know, Project Highland is the project name for the refresh Model 3, which is expected to come in the second half of 2023. We don't know all the details about the updates, but starting in December, we started to see Model 3s with camouflage out in public. First, we saw this white Model 3. It had a cover on the front, cover on the rear, and the headlights were partially covered. This was shared out by OMG Tesla slash Rivian on Twitter. And then at the beginning of February, the Kilowatts did release some pictures of a red Model 3 with similar covers on it out in public. Now, just this week, we have this new one. It's a black Model 3. But what's really interesting about this one is on the front, not only does it have the same cover, but they have completely taped up in black the headlights. It's really interesting because there's been a lot of talk about these headlights and what is gonna happen. Is there going to be a refresh on the headlights? Are they gonna be new? We don't know yet. And Tesla is clearly doing everything it can to keep those headlights under wraps. That does not mean for sure that we're gonna get new headlights on the Model 3, but it definitely points to the possibility of that coming. The thing about this particular black one is it's highlighting some new things we have not seen in the past, some new features, some new hardware that is visible. First, we have these 18 inch angled spoke wheels. These appear to be the replacement for the existing 18 inch aero wheels, which may be the next generation aero wheels for the Model 3. This new design has not been shared with the hubcaps on it. This is the first time we're seeing these. So this would be the base wheels underneath those aero covers. So it'll be really interesting to see what this design is gonna look like. Another thing, when you zoom in on the repeaters on the side, you can see that the body line is definitely longer on this. It actually goes to the door. And originally I was wondering if this was a shadow, but it does appear that this is a new, not only repeater camera, new repeater housing, but also the body lines have changed in both the fender and the door to accommodate this new camera. So it could be the angle of the camera as a wider angle and they needed more clearance for visibility. It could just be for aesthetics but this is definitely different than what we have today. Right now, the only thing that we know is Tesla has rolled out mega castings for the Model Y, and they're definitely working on this for the Cybertruck as well, and ultimately they plan to roll this out across the line. The Model 3 is next up on that list, and it's no surprise, the Model 3 is going down in price. It needs to come down in price. Affordability continues to be a major issue, plus with the impending tax credits, getting an update in March at some point there is the possibility that the standard range Model 3 may not get credits. So we obviously don't know that specifically, but there's clearly a big push at Tesla to continue to bring prices down on the Model 3, creating a much bigger gap between the 3 and the Y. With these new updates, Tesla would of course be rolling in more cost-effective manufacturing methods. If they can get the casting in there, it will bring costs down significantly by reducing the number of parts in the car, meaning not only the number of parts they're procuring, but also all the work that goes into putting those parts together. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see. And now a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Blinkist. The Blinkist app allows you to understand the most important things from over 5,500 nonfiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. With the help of Blinkist, you can discover new perspectives and broaden your horizons. With over 5,500 titles in 27 different categories, you will find content best suited for you. And being only 15 minutes means you don't have to spend a lot of time to get to the point. 2023 is the year for you to become the person you would like to be, and Blinkist is here to guide you. As some of you already know, I kicked off 2023 with some weight loss goals, and here at the end of February, I'm happy to announce I'm already down 18 pounds. I've been listening to weight loss guides and strategies on Blinkist, like seven powerful mindset changes for lasting weight loss. Sometimes it's just a little refresher, motivation that I need to keep going and doing it in about 15 minutes 
That's the ticket for me. And now with Blinkist Connect, you can share your premium plan with someone else for no additional cost. Now both accounts have access for as long as you have an active account. This allows you to share your benefits and recommend titles to each other. So be sure to visit Blinkist.com forward slash bearded Tesla guy to get 25% off plus two memberships for the price of one. You can also kick off your seven day free trial membership by clicking the link in the description. Thanks again to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Over on the hardware 4.0 side, we have some updates there as well. This is where there's going to be a lot of changes that ultimately should roll out through the products at Tesla. Of course, we already know that there's a new radar coming. We know that there's new cameras coming and there's a lot of changes that are involved with this that should bring full self-driving to the next level. At the last earnings call, Elon Musk did say that they did not plan to have a retro kit available because it would be cost prohibitive. So they still believe hardware 3.0 will be able to achieve acceptable levels of full self-driving, but there's no doubt this new hardware should allow for even better capabilities than what the existing product is out there today. So let's dive into these details on what's new this week. As we can see, Ryan at the kilowatts again, getting some awesome pictures of these new cars. These have obviously new cameras on them. And if you look at them side by side, you can see they are definitely different. Angles are definitely different as well, especially on these side repeaters. You were probably getting a much better angle with these wide angle lenses. Green only did do a breakdown. And with that, we were able to get a lot of details. It's rumored that a five megapixel camera is coming versus the 1.2 megapixel they have today but the board shows 12 camera slots and of that one of them is listed as a spare so today there's nine and we would have 11 new cameras tomorrow but we already know one of the front facing cameras is going to be removed so that leaves us with three cameras that are going to be housed somewhere new at least according to the board if that is the case where are they gonna go well, we have yet to see any cars out there that are sporting these new cameras. There is also going to be a return of radar, which I personally applaud. This is the so-called HD radar. And if you recall in the past, Elon Musk's justification for going to vision only was that vision only was superior to radar. And then he followed that up with saying, the one exception to that would be if you had a high definition radar, that would be better than vision only. Well, as we all know at this point, there was a patent from Tesla of an HD radar and it's also present here. That radar is coming with hardware 4.0. So will hardware 4 be introduced at investor day or will it be released at a different time? We already know at this point, there is hardware in place on existing Model S and X coming off the line. Couple that with discounts that have been massive on the S and X to get inventory out. This looks like it's imminent and there's probably people with an S or an X right now that have hardware 4.0 and may not even realize it. So far, we have yet to see anything like this in the Model 3 and Y, and it's likely to be that way for a while. In addition, some of the other updates, thanks to Ryan at the Kilowatts, we see a round steering wheel is now being shipped directly from the factory. Thank you. I know that some of you love the yoke, some of you hate the yoke. I am of the opinion a round steering wheel is perfect. So everybody gets to choose their own cup of tea, finally. There is one thing disappointing. We did see that the calipers are coming red once again for the Plaid models but they are just covers. And unfortunately, at some point, this happened to the Performance Model Y, where that car started getting covers instead of actual red calipers. Now the performance of the calipers should be improved, but having a cover on your brake calipers on a $120,000 car just doesn't seem right. Anyways, that is where they're headed. This is the update that we have. So whether you're excited about Project Highland and the new Model 3 or Hardware 4.0 or both, there's still so much unknown at this time and so much to be released very soon. Hopefully we'll have those details and a bigger timeline from Tesla of when they plan to roll this out across all the cars. When will we get this new Model 3? We'll just have to wait and see. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.